well. Julian, what what have you got to share from Paris? What's going on? What's what's the new? How's the evening? How are you? Well, you know, I'm just literally back from holiday. So I was expecting I would tell you a positive story about how great holidays are and how positive it is to take a break and blah, blah, blah. But I'm afraid it's... I don't like where this is going already. (laughs) I'm afraid that's a a bad story I have to tell you. Uh, I I don't know how bad it is. Uh, Quite quite frankly, I I did not even take the time to think it through. I'm just going to give you the facts, at least the way I see the facts. And I'll let you figure out whether that's bad or very bad or incredibly bad. Or maybe it's good. Yeah, I doubt that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can hope. It may not so, be realistic hope. But. Here's the thing. The, the past few months have been somehow crazy. So we've had holidays planned for a while. Uh, I let my wife plan it all. Uh, she was nice enough to schedule everything uh, on her own. And she's used my previous accounts to make it simple so that we got you know i i used to book holidays so i have records of everything and uh and in the past i've used you know what i'm gonna do name dropping because i'm so pissed uh in the past oh, i used uh, a company an ota right we've talked about ota quite a few times mm-hmm. in the past uh, online travel agents i've used one that i thought was incredibly famous but every time i bring it up since no one has ever heard of them uh the the company's called agoda ever heard of it no. no. So my, my guess it's it's probably because I was in Hong Kong at the time and it's a mm-hmm. very Asian um OTA. Uh and that's probably why you'd know booking.com or hotels.com or whatever sure. else better than this one. All right. So I've used Agoda for the past many years. Um and I loved them in the first place because quite frankly in Asia they were pretty good. Uh, second, I love their design, very clean, very neat, while some others are incredibly messy and you it's very hard to read. This one used to be pretty nice. Um, and they had points. And if you remember my story <clears> back <throat> in the days, you know, in Australia, where I got the uh, the hotel manager crying, that was because of them, because I was trying to collect points. No. Which ultimately... Oh, I really don't like the idea that you've got a bad story with these guys after <laughs> that. Well, it's, especially that you never use the points, because frankly speaking, first of all, it's insanely complicated to find in the form when do you actually try to redeem your points? Mm. Um, and the second reason why you don't use your points is I, I don't have the actual ratio, so I don't want to lie on this, but it does feel like you need a million points to get 50 cents, um, which is probably not yeah, the case, yeah. but that's that's really the feeling you get by, by using it. So it feels like you're collecting for literally nothing. Anyway, I've discovered, and I told you in another story, as well, I've discovered a while ago that those guys, because they don't have a strong presence in Europe, they actually book through another OTA, meaning you book mm-hmm. your room or hotel or whatever it is, which actually is booked by Booking.com, which is booked by Agoda, booking through Booking, booking to the hotel, which I don't know how anyone is eating from that because the margin must be very thin at the end of the day. Um, but what's more concerning is they're not transparent at all at all on this so meaning Mm. you don't know until you have a problem and you try to call and then you figure out yeah and then good luck to figure out how to do anything so here is what happened we had very few days holiday with my wife three or four days something like that um and we booked one night in strasbourg so if you're not familiar strasbourg is a very lovely city in elsass uh by uh the border between france germany and not not too far from from belgium and luxembourg as well lovely city and what we wanted to do that was our night out as a couple not as parents Mm -hmm. because my my parents were taking care of the kid so we decided you know what we'll have nice restaurant and we'll have a few drinks and we won't be driving for once because we're going to book a hotel in the very center of the city and we find that lovely hotel that actually seemed too good to be true because a very nice picture the price is high but not crazy high and again city center and they are saying they have parking space and go for it we book it and now we're on the roads um fast forward a few weeks we're on the roads trying to aim to the hotel to check in at 2 p.m and then enjoy the city for the rest of the day and then as we approach strasbourg i'm asking my wife can you give me the actual address of the hotel because can't seem to find it. She gave me the address, but 
the address is not a hotel. It's basically your church or something like this. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, well, there's a problem with the address, which is very weird. So let's call them up. So I call the hotel directly by name. We find them on Google and we say, oh, where are you exactly in Strasbourg? Because we can't find you. In Strasbourg, you say, we're not in Strasbourg. We are roughly 35 minutes drive north of Strasbourg. Uh, and I'm telling them, how is that possible? The, the website clearly states Strasbourg. And she's like, well, I'm on my website right now. And nowhere it says Strasbourg. The address is blah, blah, blah. Um, the village name or city name or town name, whatever that is. More like a village, surely. Um, so that's getting a little bit annoying. I don't want to complain to her because truly I didn't book through her. So it's not really her it's problem. It's not her fault. So I call Agoda. Uh, pretty responsive. I didn't wait for too long, by the way. Um, and then I tell them, what's wrong with my booking? You're, you're telling me I'm on your website right now. It's written city center Strasbourg. But it's not. 35 minutes drive outside the city is not the city center. <laughs> And then the first reaction is blaming the hotel. Well, they must not be managing their, they must be lying on our website. They didn't fill the form properly. Their fault entirely. There is nothing we can do about it. Look, guys, I booked through you. This is false information on your website. So figure it out or I'll yeah, figure out and... something for you. All right. So uh, the guy said, okay, I'll make a few calls, get back to you. I'm putting pressure. Don't send me an email. It's happening today. So you give me a call. Don't send me an email. It's a waste of everyone's time. Calling back 30 minutes later. Uh, look, the best I can do is 20% off. Um, and that's going to be refunded 30 days from now, but you still need to pay the hotel room. I, sorry, I can't do anything better than that. If you really want, what I can do is cancel the whole thing and get you your money back. And then I say, yeah, well, now I'm already in the city. I'm going to find a hotel in the city center last minute. I'm going to spend my entire afternoon instead of visiting, actually booking a new hotel. That doesn't make any sense. So I took the 20% off um, and promised myself for the 10th time that it would stop working with them. And I, I, I wish I'm going to stick to that next time. Um, and then, and then to, talking to the hotel manager, by the way, the hotel was so beautiful. No regrets. I mean, at the end of the day, I would never have thought about going there. So brilliant story in the end, because the hotel was really fantastic. Not convenient, but fantastic. Uh, and then talking to the hotel manager said, Agoda, who are those guys? Never worked with them. And that's when I realized, looking at the thread of email, they actually take all the information from booking.com manage to copy paste it wrongly on their website because on booking that's a correct address on their website there's a correct address. so they fuck it up they blame the hotel they don't want to take you know to to take uh, any, any of the food i was pretty annoyed so that's that's my story for today i don't know on on a scale of bad to very bad where it where it lands but i, I felt pretty bad about it yeah that's I mean, the, the one thought I have is I bet they were in the center of the village. They were. So at least. But that so, was probably a two square meters village. So it's not too right. hard to be in the center. <laughs> be in the center of that. Yeah. And that, that was not what you wanted. Wow. Oh, there's so much to unpack here. This is, this is rough. Um, so how do you, as a great big corporation, expanding your reach have any kind of quality control clearly these guys have none that that to me is the biggest failing is that they they're they're just taking well it's bizarre it, it sounds like the breakdown was from booking to them so i, I don't even understand how that could have gotten screwed up that way. I mean, that that's just completely baffling, right? I mean, it's not like the hotel used to claim to be in the center of Strasbourg and then changed it. No, because the address was right beside the city name. And lucky for me, that was 30 minutes away. It could have been on the other side of the earth. Oh, by the way, we are in Strasbourg, Minnesota. Great. What do you do with that? <laughs> <laughs> right? uh, so at least it was that. Um, and, and I agree, but I'm thinking not my problem, right? Um, that, that, yeah, whether that's... whether that's booking.com APIs not working or whether that's actually a good uh, copy paste system not working or not my problem. You are advertising. I'm your customer. You're the OTA. You owe me. 
not the other way around. And 20% yeah. is ridiculous, is, especially if I need to wait 30 days, right? And then, and the only thing worse would have been if they'd have just given you points. <laughs> so but, uh, originally they didn't want to give me a, a 20% discount. They said, we're going to credit your account for 20%. Forget it. I'm never working with you guys again. Don't give me again, 20%. Right. I, anything short of that night free just seems ridiculous to me. So clearly they screwed up. Um, you're the, see, this gets into an empowerment thing because the, I mean, maybe the agent was empowered to say, yes, we looked, our website is wrong. We're going to take responsibility for that. Um, you know, you, the only reason, you know, the booking was right is you, you did the work to figure that out. Um, so I guess it's, it's deeper than just the agent empowerment. It's the company as a whole, not taking responsibility for what they're doing. And, um, and that's back to, you know, there's, I mean, this is a very typical example, but there are many companies that try to cut corners for fast growth, which makes sense, right? You want to grow very fast. You have very aggressive competitors. You want to grow quickly. And sometimes what you have to do to grow quickly is to externalize some of your business to other companies, which is an acceptable path to growth. But then, as you said earlier, you need to have some level of QA in place. Because if yes. you cannot make sure the quality is there, it's fine to externalize. It's definitely fine. You can't do everything in-house. And if you're a small player versus big players, you probably don't even have a choice. But then Q and A, Q, QA, sorry, is absolutely mandatory to make that work. And transparency. I mean, I'm so – the biggest annoyance for me is not even that, is – you're blaming the hotel, but the hotel does not even know you in the first place. You are doing right. something. <laughs> you're doing something very weird, not asking for their opinion. They're not even aware. I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's even borderline legal that you don't tell me that um, that I'm not dealing directly with the hotel through you. And, and you don't take responsibility and you're not transparent about it. This is what annoys me the most, I guess. I, to me, it's the lack of taking responsibility. That's the biggest thing. Uh, because if you don't take responsibility, you know, like, like you said, their margins are razor thin and the 20% refund is, you know, that, that's a teeny little bit of a loss for them, but you, you were screwed, right? You, you, they misrepresented the location of a hotel. You made a decision based on that misrepresentation. That is not okay because they're not taking responsibility their motivation to get the qa right is purely altruistic at that point and you know vague customer sat whereas if they had a pretty strict when we screw up this bad we're giving you a free night then they, they're gonna have to take responsibility and they're gonna have to fix it there's there's just like a deep endemic lack of responsibility that i think is showing up in this so what should they do? I mean, being transparent, taking responsibility, training the agents to quickly check into the facts to know whether that's their screw up or a fair one from the hotel, because it could happen as well. Um, and, and empowering agents, you said a few important keywords here. Is there anything else that the company should do differently? And uh, having some QA, of course, we've talked about that. Yeah, yeah. I. I don't remember if you mentioned transparency in that the <laughs> fact that they're using a third party. I think that's really yeah. important that they say that. Um, yeah. I mean, in, in baseball, if you get, or, or no, I'm sorry, in hockey, if you score three goals, it's called a hat trick. I think this is four or five so I'm not sure what the steps beyond a hat trick are, but I, I think these guys have blown that away. Um, yeah. This is a bad one. You're right. This is this is at least seven on a ten scale bad, if not so worse. What's happening next is as soon as I get my refund, which I haven't seen yet, I'm gonna 
delete my account once and for all so that I don't get tempted next time to say, ah, the account is already created. I'm going to give them another chance like I do every time. This time I'm going to delete it for good and too bad for Just, the history. of. So, yeah. so is there any, do you have any interest in calling them back and saying, look, this was right on booking. This was wrong on you. I was told this was not your fault, but it was your fault and see if they will respond differently. Is it worth trying to do that? It could be. I'm, I've. Bottom line, they I, lost I, you as I, a I don't customer. Think it doesn't do. matter. It's mood at this point. Yes, and I, I could get a few dollars <laughs> more, but ultimately, is it worth me getting angry over it for thirty bucks more? No. Pro probably not. I'm saying probably not. My 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 health, my mental health, is more important at this point. <laughs> and, I guess, and I guess the bottom line is. It's not like there aren't, you know, you can go to booking, you can go, there's, there's so much competition in that market. And the fact that you're using a obscure Hong Kong or Asian company to book in Europe, it, it probably is time to not do that anymore. Yeah, but you, you know, to that, here is the thing. If they were transparent, telling me, by the way, we're booking through booking, I don't care too much. I'm fine with that because the reason why I stick with you guys is I have the points, which I will never use because they are useless. But still, that's gamification, so it still works on my right, right. simple brain. Um, and second, I, I have all my previous bookings. Uh, that There are memories attached to that. There is hotels I might go back to if at some point I go back to Seoul and Korea or to Australia. I know I have my bookings there. I know... So I would still go with you guys, assuming the price is roughly the same, instead of going to bookings. But if every time there is a screw up and the points are used less, and then forget it. I'm going to go to booking straight away. So you should have been transparent in the first place, and you should own your mistakes and take responsibility for it. But all right, I'm going to stop ranting over this one. I, I, I think it's pretty clear it was not a, a good story, I, even though, again, the hotel fantastic if you ever Lovely. get lost around strasbourg uh, i can recommend a beautiful place to stay all right duly noted duly <laughs> noted and sorry i just the whole thing feels painful it was but thank you so much for your empathetic ear uh, my dear max uh, and, and hopefully i can return the favor next week sounds good all right well good luck with your next travel Perfect. Thanks a lot, Max. Have a beautiful day, and I will talk to you next week. Sounds great. Thanks, Julian. Bye. Bye.